Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will solve a numerical on the optimization of the CES production function, that is constant elasticity substitution function. So, uh, with the given constraint, the question is optimize CES production function, that is Q is equal to uh, 100 uh, times uh, 0 0.2 k to the power minus bracket minus 0 0.5 plus uh, 1 minus 0 0.2 into L to the power minus bracket minus 0 0.5 to the whole power minus 1 divided by uh, minus 0 0.5 and we are given the constraint subject to the constraint 10k plus 4, 4L is equal to 4100. We have to optimize this very function. Okay, We will use the Lagrange's function uh, method of optimizing this very CS production function. How we optimize this? First of all, we will form a Lagrange's function. So, to form the Lagrange's function, the first step is we set this constraint. This is called a constraint and this is our objective function. We set the constraint equal to 0. We set this very equation equal to 0. So, this will become, so I will write here set constraint, constraint equal to 0. So, this will become, uh, so I will write here 4100 minus 10k plus sorry minus 4l is equal to 0 so first step in solving by the Lagrange's function method is first we set the constant equal to 0 and next step is we multiply this constant by lambda this constant function by lambda so we multiply it by lambda 4100 minus 10k minus 4l uh, is equal to 0 now we can form the Lagrange's function. Uh, the Lagrange's function is formed by adding the objective function and the result a constant, um, a constant function. Okay. Then uh, our Lagrange's function is equal to we take this very objective function, uh, objective function, and add uh, this very resulting constant function to this, and we will get the uh, Lagrange's function. So our objective function is 100. 100 times uh, 0 0.2 k to the power now minus into minus is plus so this will become 0 0.5 plus 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8 l to the power minus into minus is plus so this is 0 0.5 to the whole power this minus and minus gets cancelled we are with 1 divided by 0 0.5 now 1 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 5 by 10 and reciprocating this will become 2 so 1 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 2 and to this uh, objective function, we add the resulting Lagrange function. That is, uh, lambda times 4100 minus 10k minus 4l. Okay. So this is our Lagrange function. Now to get the optimal values of l and k, we partially differentiate this Lagrange function with respect to l, k and set them equal to 0 simultaneously so we will partially differentiate this very Lagrange's function I will not write here uh, that very so I will go first we will partially differentiate this with respect to k this very Lagrange's function with respect to k and set it equal to 0 first partially differentiate it here this 2 will become coefficient by the power function rule this exponent becomes coefficient now 2 into 100 is 200 so I will write 200 0.2 k to the power my uh, sorry 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 l to the power uh, 0.5 and this exponent is subtracted by 1 by the power function rule so this is 2 minus 1 is 1 so we will not uh, write this now and again internally internally differentiating with respect to k this very function okay this is from the rules of uh, differentiation you can check it in my earlier videos on the integrate uh, sorry differentiation uh, playlist now 0 0.5 into 0 0.2 is 0 0.1 now k to the power 0 0.5 we have to subtract uh, the exponent also so this will become k to the power minus 0 0.5 so up to this is the uh, uh, derivative of this uh, objective function plus here lambda times 40 has no k is involved so this is 0 lambda into minus 10 k the derivative of k is 1 so 10 into minus 10 into 1 is minus 10 uh, into lambda so we are here minus 10 lambda and set it equal to 0 because uh, lambda into 4l no k is involved so derivative will be 0 also. So we get actually the derivative only this 10k. 
Similarly, again differentiating with respect to L, same rule is here. We take the, uh, we take, or we can write this here. We will further solve this here. This is one, 0 0.1, we can write it 1 divided by 10. Now 10, uh, this 0 and this 0, this 0 gets cancelled. We are here uh, with 20. Uh, we are here with 20, so I will write here 20. Uh, 20 uh, k to the power minus 0 0.5 and writing this as uh, 0 0.2 k to the power 0 0.5 uh, plus 0 0.8 l to the power uh, 0 0.5 okay and transposing this minus 10 lambda on RHS so this will become uh, 10 lambda let this be equation first Similarly, we will differentiate the Lagrange's function with respect to L this time. So we will differentiate with respect to L. So L of L is equal to same rule is here. 2 becomes quotient now 2 into 100 is 200. So I will write here 200. This is 0 0.2 k to the power 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 L to the power 0 0.0.5 and the exponent is subtracted by 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 and now internally differentiating with respect to l so this 0 0.5 will become four coefficient 0 0.5 into 0 0.8 is 0 0.4 uh, l to the power um, this co uh, exponent is subtracted by 1 so this will become minus 0 0.5 and similarly uh, differentiating uh, this very constant also with respect to l no L is in value, no N is value, so we have to di uh, differentiate this variable. So this will become minus 4 lambda and set is also equal to 0. Now further uh, manipulating this, so this is here 4 divided by 10. So this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled, 20 into 4 is 80. So we will write here 80 and we have here uh, L to the power minus 0 0.5. Here we have this 0 0.2, K to the power 0 0.5. Uh, plus 0 0.8 l to the power 0 0.5 okay and here we also transpose this minus 4 l to the RHS so this will become plus 4 lambda okay let this be equation second again partially differentiating with respect to lambda this uh, constant uh, this object uh, what we call this uh, the Lagrange function so this is l of lambda is equal to here no uh, lambda is involved up to up to this no lambda is involved here lambda is only here the derivative of lambda is one so we get here uh, 4100 0, 0 minus 10 k minus 4 l is equal to zero let this be equation third okay we will divide equation uh, first by equation second so dividing equation first by second what will we get so we will write this this is our uh, 20 so I will write here this is uh, 20 k to the power uh, k to the power uh, minus 0 0.5 and we have 0 0.2 k to the power 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 l to the power 0 0.5 we divide it by the equation second. Our equation second is this very equation. So we are here with 80 uh, L to the power minus 0 0.5 L to the power 0 0.5 and this 0 0.2 K to the power 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 L to the power 0 0.5. Okay. This is on the R LHS on RHS we have 10 lambda divided by 4 lambda. So I will write here, this is 10 lambda divided by 4 lambda. This lambda lambda gets cancelled here. Uh, this 2 and 2, 2 ones are 2, 2, 4 are 8. This is here 2.5. So also this expression gets cancelled because this is the same expression here, same term rather. So we are here with this uh, k to the power minus 0 0.5 divided by 4 l to the power minus 0 0.5 is equal to now 10 divided by 4 uh, 10 divided by 4 this is 10 4 ones are 4 we are here this this is here uh, this is equal to sorry 4 twos are 8 
this is so I will do again this this is 4 2s are 8 here so here we get 2 0 0.5 are 20 so this is 2.5 I will write here 2.5 okay now further simplifying we can write k to the power minus 0 0.5 is equal to now transposing this on RHS this will become uh, this will get uh, multiplied so 2.5 into 4 is 10 L to the power minus 0 0.5 okay or we can write it as uh, k to the power minus 1 by 2 is equal to 10 to the power L minus 1 by 2 okay now we what we will do uh, we will we will take uh, minus 2 as exponent on both sides uh, to get rid of this 2. So taking exponent, so I will write here k to the power minus 1 by 2, taking minus 2 as exponent. We can do anything uh, to any uh, uh, any uh, equation. If we do the uh, function, rather, if we do uh, the operation on both sides, okay? So this will not make it, this will remain same, L to the power minus 1 by 2. So we take minus 2 as exponent on both sides. Now this uh, 2 and 2 gets cancelled, minus into minus is plus, so here it is k is equal to, now here it is 10 to the power minus 2, L to the power minus 1 by 2 and minus 2. This 2, 2 gets cancelled, minus minus is plus, so k is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 is 1 divided by 100 and we get here L okay this is the value of K this is the relationship between capital and labor now what will we do we will put the value of K is equal to this uh, in equation third so we will put the value of uh, this value in equation third our equation third is this so this will become 4100 0, 0 minus 10 and k our the value of k is 1 divided by 100 l minus 4 l is equal to 0 here this 0 gets cancelled this is here 4 1 0 0 minus 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1 l minus 4 l is equal to 0 now uh, 4 l and 0 0.1 l is equal to 4.1 l when transposing this will become plus 4 l. 4.1 L is equal to 4100 or L is equal to 4100 here 4.1 uh, 4 is 441 divided by 10 when transposing this will become 10 divided by uh, 41 now 41 ones are 41 0 and this 0 and this 0 get us we get this we get L is equal to 1, 2, 3. So the value of L is 1000. So we get the optimal value of L is 1000. Now we will put L is equal to put L is equal to 1000 in equation third again. Our equation third is this. Uh, so we are with 4100 minus 10k minus 4 and the value of L is 1000, 1 is 10 is 1000 and set it equal to 0. Now this is 4100 minus 10k minus 4000 is equal to 0 or 4100 minus 4000 minus 10k is equal to 0. So this is 1 is 10 is 100, 1000, sorry this is 100. Uh, is equal to 10k or k is equal to 100 divided by 10 so we get the value of k is equal to 10 and l is equal to 10 so the optimal values of capital and labor when when optimizing is 10 and 100 respectively okay this was all about uh, optimizing SCES production function that is constant elasticity substitution function. Uh, I have made the videos fully on the CES production function where you will get the theoretical idea 
what is a CS production function. Okay, I hope I make my, my setup clear. If you have any doubts, you can write in comments. Thank you.